Okay, uh, this is the uh, video for um, diagnostic software, something you can use to uh, check out um, tests uh, hardware or if you upgrade something you can test that uh, specific component and or uh, it gives you a lot of uh, system information uh, you may not necessarily get just by looking at the operating system or inside the uh, computer itself. Now this happens to be uh, QuickTech Pro software. Um, keep in mind I'm not really doing it just on that, it's just um, any diagnostic software in particular. So uh, uh, we actually did an unboxing, uh, or I did an unboxing uh, three or four weeks ago, so this is just a continuation when I had more time. Okay, uh, this one happens to be self-booting, and uh, if you can do hardware testing, it's much more better to get a self-booting because if you go into the operating system, sometimes uh, uh, the software conflicts and or drivers and things like that might interfere with the hardware testing, so in, in many cases it's better to boot from the software itself. Uh, now, some of the tests you do have to boot inside the operating system to be able to test, but that's uh, a different topic altogether. Um, but on this one, it happens to have a uh, you know, quick inventory, which is at the very top. And all this basically does is give you a quick rundown of everything. Uh, in this case, uh, it's got your uh, four, um, four processors, actually a single processor with four cores and it just gives you a basic rundown and that's it really and you can see there's just basic information um, I think with any diagnostic software you really need to have a good system information that's actually probably just as important than the actual testing uh, on this one if you go to configuration this will even break it down more and give you more advanced um, software or uh, system information uh, here this breaks it down in the uh, system board. Now system info is for some of the older computers. Uh, there's SMI here. We can open that up real quick. And it even breaks it down even further. Uh, it tells you what, uh, what things that the processor supports. And uh, we'll get out of that. And uh, things like that. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on uh, one thing and if you look on the right side you'll see like a red arrow and then that tells you it's got more uh, information and uh, another good thing about it is it does support um, sensors and uh, now I'm not sure if it's going to show it on this computer see it's not, not, not detected I think it's got to be able to detect both of them and then it'll give you the um, hardware sensor temperatures and voltages for some reason I don't know why it's only specific chips I think work and it gives you basic RAM uh, information uh, actually maybe even what slot the type of memory and things and you see peripherals Here, uh, where it says CMOS, uh, read, write, and uh, I forgot what C stands for. Um, but you can actually save the CMOS information, uh, you know, if you want to, and rewrite it back, I think. Now, this gives you basic uh, uh, hard, hard drive. Uh, it shows IDE, but that probably just about any hard drive. And uh, let's go here. And it'll just give you a basic rundown of the hard drive itself the type of hard drive and uh, so on. Now this one, uh, the next one down is um, probably the CD-ROM drive and then it'll give you uh, the things that that supports. Um, okay, SMART, uh, which is most modern hard drives have, it basically tells you uh, um, it's kind of like an early detection system letting you know if you're uh, hard drives are going down uh, it'll give you time to back everything up um, I think over on this side right here as long as it's not in red um, then I actually 
and uh, I haven't actually went through the whole user's guide yet to see uh, what that all means and of course the capability of all the hard drives and I guess it's got a uh, benchmark it might be good if you upgrade and then you can you know do a before and after and see uh, you know if you have a gaming machine or whatever okay uh, that's just a quick breakdown of the uh, system information like I said before uh, this is a quick uh, information and then here's the more advanced of course okay we're gonna get into diagnostics um, okay uh, we're gonna go to system board first now if you look up here um, this this diagnostics software happens to support up to eight um, cores and if you look on the very right um, this uh, computer actually has four cores right here so you can do quick testing and I can actually show you what the test is on that. It's just got various tests. And it just basically loops over and over again until you actually stop it. And you can just see it supports uh, AMD 3D Now, uh, MMX, and things like that. And you can see it skipped the AMD 3D Now because it's an Intel processor. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, NPU, which is I believe the math coprocessor, and then it does, and it shows you the various tests on this. And usually each core processor has its own uh, math coprocessor, NPU. I hadn't figured this one out uh, yet in the user's guide. Um, I guess it's for multi core processors, and here it's showing four cores. I'm not 100% sure what that is yet. And then you got your various um, tests. I may not go in particular. Okay, keyboard controller, interrupt controllers, D DMA controllers, PCI, uh, SM bus. I never really took a look at. Uh, now, turbo switch is probably off the uh, very old computers that used to have one. Uh, speaker tests. And uh, this one right here is for the hard drives. Uh, this one happens to support both the mechanical and SSD drives. Um, okay, H, of course, being hard drive. Um, here you can uh, do a couple of tests. Um, now, if you want to keep the operating system on it, um, you don't want to choose destructive uh, tests because that will actually write over your operating system. And uh, and th these are mostly reading functions, uh, quick drive scan, scans through the whole thing. Uh, random read, I believe, are like butterfly tests. It will read, um, uh, you know, it kind of goes back and forth between the beginning of the drive and the end of the drive, and then I guess it gives you a full read analysis. I'm not going to go through all that. It's going to take too long. Um, now, perhaps if you're... Um, you're a system builder and you want to check out some of your extra hard drives that you're going to put in, in a client's computer then you can uh, probably go through all this and actually uh, write to it and then test it out that way. Um, the erase drive uh, I'm not 100% sure but I think on this one and uh, one of my other diagnostic softwares it securely uh, erases um, the hard drive accordance with DOD standards, government standards, so I think it does, uh, you know, so many passes and puts random data on there uh, to erase, you know, securely erase all your data. Now here's uh, more on your smart for your hard drive and smart actually does its own diagnostic tests and um, as you can see up here all the, those uh, are all the built into the hard drive itself. You can actually run those yourself or select certain ones. So it's got, you know, uh, another way to test your hard drive. Um, okay, floppy drives are pretty much uh, defunct unless you have a real old one. Uh, these uh, are for the CD ROM drive. And, uh, oh wow, whoops. Oh, crap. 
All right, we might have to stop this.